everyone, welcome back to Auto House in Naples. I'm Haley, and today we have a very special and unique car for everyone. But before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, and make sure and click the bell to turn the notifications on. Also, check out our website, autohousenaples.com, for this car and all of our other cars. All right. So today's car is very, very special. This is a 1933 Auburn 8101A Boat Tail Speedster. I mean, I don't even know where to start, <laughs> but from the front, it's got so many cool and unique features. You have these uh, very large lights up front. Oh yeah, and the, the Auburn. You've got your Auburn badging right here, and you have this really unique little figurine up top with the wings and it's just super unique and cool. You've got the grill that's very more so vertical than even like slightly horizontal. It's this very long narrow grill and it's all finished in this orange color and it fits really nice with this cream. Um, you've got these very large lights as well which are really unique and cool. You don't see that at all very often or you know at all nowadays and then one thing that I really love right here is you have these oh, got a bug you've got these the horns they're actual horns <laughs> not just like the sound effect you have a full visible horn and I think it's really cool and neat this is your true 1930s car you've got the third light up front it's just it really sets itself apart from any other car got this front bumper as well it just looks really unique and very cool you've got your tires and wheels over here and they're really cool so you've got that matching cream and this is more of a red on the wheel um, all the different spokes on here and you got your Auburn badging again on there and these are Firestone tires as well it just fits the car so well. What I love is it is a four wheel car. You know, you got your four wheels, but then you've also got two spare tires on both sides of your car. So you've got, it kind of has six wheels, even though you only drive on the four, but it's kind of cool. You've got all six of them visible on the car. You also have, I just thought this was the, the neatest thing. You have your uh, side mirrors attached to the tire and the wheel. So I was joking earlier, if you're gonna use your spare, then hopefully the other one's not flat because then you're not gonna be able to strap it onto your, your uh, flat spare tire. You got your Auburn badging on here as well. Overall, the colors look really nice together. You've got a lacquer paint in the cream color and it's got this deep orange moldings and the pinstriping. It's just a really great combination throughout. It kind of accentuates the classic Alini design. One thing right here that I really like is you got a little storage compartment. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna open this door up. And if you come over here, you've got a little pocket, which this is kind of neat too. Just the whole door is very flush, but you've got this little pocket, which is nice. Pretty good storage, you can fit multiple things in here, but we have a key for that storage compartment. So down here you've got just a little lat or kind of lever deal. And then we'll put that in. Did it earlier. Oh, wrong way. Right way. Alright, so the space in here is actually Oh, those planes again. You've got a bit of space, but I think the neatest thing about this car is there's these old vintage golf clubs inside. Like, how neat is that? Layton's golf clubs to fit inside, which is super neat. And so you've got this old set of golf clubs inside. I thought it was so neat when I saw that. And then you've got your all your clubs super cool super unique and original okay let's make sure we put perfect and so that tool is really just for opening that up all right so along the side too you've got these steps to get into the car which is super nice and it's very essential because when you try and get in maybe you'll see in a second it is so low 
and it's like such a wide step that without the step it'd be pretty difficult to get in I think. Then on the back over here you've got the same Firestone tires on the back, you got your same Auburn wheels, really great condition overall the whole entire car it's it's such a beautiful car on the back you've got your you've got your lights right here you've got your start stop or start stop you've got your brake lights i think it's really cool they say stop on them like that very neat you've got your boat tail on the back super cool i mean it kind of looks like a boat too and it's just it's such a unique shape and design but so it is an auburn 8101a the 8 is the number of cylinders so it is an eight cylinder 101 stands for the horsepower and a means that this car was actually a custom or at least a deluxe model and it has a few more included options such as a, a dual ratio rear axle the wire wheels upgraded interior hardware fabric extra moldings things like that so I think that's really, it's just the whole back and the color, the way it comes up like this, the shape of the car, it's just such a beautiful car and it really stands out. You can't help but, you know, stare at it and be kind of drawn in. On the back, you've got that bumper again. And I love the lights, how they kind of stick out like that. Yeah, like you can see on the other side, it's like a little bug eye or something like that. Very unique. And it does have that great Gatsby feel, you know, I think the car in that movie was yellow, but it's the same style, the same look. Um, it's just so unique to see a car like this, imagining someone driving it around in the 30s. So let's show you the inside real quick. So you've got these handles right here, and they just open up this way. And again, you've got another pocket in there as well for storage or anything like that. This is what I think, it's just such a hard, like, if without the step, it would be just so difficult. But the inside as well is in really great shape. It's been restored really nice. You've got this red leather interior and it's just been restored really well, which makes it really nice to kind of see it back in its original shape. You've got all your gauges right there, which, you know, are all working great. It's just such a simple interior. There's not much to it. I mean, 1930s cars don't have a lot going on, but it's just so unique and special. You've got your mirror up above there as well and your, your wipers. I love these little tiny wipers. We were joking that if this car is ever caught in the Florida, Florida thunderstorm, I don't know how, how much you would get with that. But then it also has the convertible top as well, which is nice if you wanted to put that up. But I think keeping it in the uh, with the top down is just pretty authentic to its to its true self. And so again, over here you've got that additional spare, and you've got your side mirror. Just the whole entire body of the car is really cool. I love on the side here, you've got your, um, they put pinstriping on each of the, the slats, kind of like accentuate each of them. But overall, it's in really great shape. It's been restored really well. Let's check out the engine. So this one, you're gonna have just two little latches right here. It's in such great shape. This engine too, it's got a little, I think it's around like 100 miles on it, right around there. So it doesn't have uh, too much drive time on this engine. It's really clean and really great shape too. All right, let's close that up. and it just closes up 
overall this car has been super well maintained and taken care of it's been restored really well the price for this which i think is really neat in 1933 was 1245 dollars and that's equivalent to nowadays about 26,600, somewhere around that but it's so crazy because this car is such a beautiful design piece it's so unique and it's really special but you can't find a car like that now at all or anything close to this for $26,000. You're going to get a boring Camry or something like that. <laughs> Those planes. Um, the Auburn Automobile Company, it was founded by the Eckert Brothers in the 1900s in Auburn, Indiana. That's where the name comes from. It's been beautifully restored but it's a solid original. The uh, factory, or not factory, it's been fully rebuilt. The Lycoming eight cylinder engine and like I said it has minimal miles on it, somewhere around 100, somewhere like that. It's got the original engine and chassis, uh, full leather interior and it's just really beautiful. You got your Hearts cloth canvas top with the side curtains. Overall the car is in really great condition and it's been well maintained super uh super clean and very unique for sure so let's go take it on our test drive Wow, now that is such a unique car. You got your great Gatsby look. Make sure and uh, call our dealership if you're interested in finding out more information or possibly purchasing this car and check out our website autohousenaples.com for all of our other cars for sale and let us help you drive your dream.